last night on The Bachelor. I am aware of the effect I have on women. <laughs> Can I get a card? It was like the biggest slap in the face. I'm just like in shock right now. <laughs> Why are you crying? Night one of the Bachelor finale has come and gone, and we have absolutely no time to waste. Because the two-part live finale continues in just a few hours, where we're finally going to see how Peter's wild ride is going to end. But for now, it's part one of the finale, which brought us quite a few twists and turns. As per usual, during these live events, we open to Chris Harrison welcoming us to the finale and hyping us up for the whole night. How will his love story really end? None of us knows. Not even Peter. After leaving us with that interesting tidbit, Chris Harrison hits play and we're taken to Alice Springs, right in the middle of Australia for the final days of the season. It's here where Peter's family is going to be introduced to the final two women. But before that happens, Peter's got to fill his parents in on how fantasy suites went and how many times he got to do it. Upon seeing Peter, Mama Weber starts freaking out, going, Bud! 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 Bud is Peter's nickname, if you didn't realize. And Peter details what's gone down the last few weeks. He tells them about his adventures in the Gold Coast, and Mom and Pop are like, Do anything, Peter, what do you want? Then he tells them about Madison saving herself for marriage, and they're like, well, like this. Because you gotta remember, these are the people who were cheering when they heard that their son had made it happen four times in the windmill last season. It was actually four times. <laughs> but Peter explains that Madison is here for a reason, and he is really connected to her, and Barbara's like, la 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 la, not listening. First up to meet the folks, though, is going to be Hannah Ann, and before she arrives, Peter describes her to the Webbers. She's like, the perfect embodiment of that pure, beautiful innocence and confidence and... Okay, calm down, Barbara. Enter Hannah Ann, who's nervous but happy to meet the family and share how she feels about Peter. And as soon as Hannah Ann walks in and Barbara gets a look at her, she's like... Oh my god. Yeah, Barbara immediately takes to Hannah Ann. So the gang all says their hellos, and then sit down so Hannah Ann can open up about how the journey has been so far, and about how much Peter means to her. Look at that. I see you and me. Yeah, remember when you used to awkwardly latch on to me when we talked with your parents? Ah, uh, those were the days. Of course, after that, each of the Webbers pull Hannah Ann aside to have more detailed personal chats about who Hannah Ann is. And it's not long before Hannah brings out the tears. Ah, yes, I see my son has taught you well. Welcome to the family! And it's all just super smooth sailing for Hannah Ann after that. Everyone seems to adore her. The last chat of the visit is between Peter and Papa Weber, where Peter's dad asks if he's leaning one way or another, and if there are any reservations that Peter has. Peter says no, the only concern that he has is that he's in love with two women, and he has to make a decision. But with one woman, the road has been easy, and with the other woman, it's been hard. And don't worry, Peter, that's not stopping anytime soon, as the easy day with Hannah Ann drives off into the outback, and Madison's visit is on its way. So Madison arrives, and before she goes in to meet the family, Peter sits her down to check in. How are you doing? Not good. That's, 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 that's what I was hoping to hear. Madison is still harboring hurt feelings over how the fantasy suite week went. She expresses how she felt like Peter put his feelings over hers, by being intimate with the other women after she said she'd have a hard time moving forward if, you know, he did that. And, and I... What, what am I saying? I'm, I'm having a hard time focusing. Can, can, can we cut away from those? So Peter's like, yeah, I, I get you, but understand I'm also in a relationship with other people, not just you. And Madison responds with, well, I'm just trying to be honest about what I'm feeling. They then facepalm, Peter says, I don't want you to go, and Madison says love is not the problem, all the other stuff is. I do love you which Peter latches on to. He gets all sorts of smiley after that, forgetting the concerns that Madison brought up. He's just happy that Madison said I love you, and oh, nope, no kissing just yet, Peter. So Peter and Madison get to bring all of that wonderful energy into the meeting with the Webbers. And you know the drill, first to sit down all together before splitting off for more intimate chats. Right off the bat, Peter mentions how great their relationship has been, but that they hit a roadblock. Madison then explains that she's saving herself for marriage, and that their son boinked two other women, which upset her. 
You know, your typical first timing in the parents conversation. And this really upsets the Webbers, because it plays against the two most important things they are looking for in a partner for Peter. One, they haven't done it yet, and two, she's not Hannah Ann. So the group splits up. First, Madison with Mr. Weber, who does ask a fair question, are you two truly compatible? Madison does say there have been differences, but when it comes to the most important things, they connect. Honesty, openness, and a willingness to grow are values that they share, and she does win Dad over a bit by telling him how special and deserving of love Peter is. Meanwhile, Bud is having a chat with Bud Light about Madison saving herself for marriage. Not actually still having sex until you're fully married, and do you think that's something that you like realistically see yourself doing? Yeah, bro, can you like, not do it for that long? Peter says, yeah, if it's the right person, I can. But here as well, Peter's brother is asking some fair questions, like, she goes to church on Sunday, and you go line dancing. Are you really compatible? And Peter says, I know we're different, but we acknowledge that. Still, the family is concerned. But okay, it's time for Madison to sit down with Barbara, and all the greatest hits get played again. Are you compatible? He's not as religious as you are. Just don't try to change him. And Madison's like, okay, hold up. I'm not doing anything other than expressing my feelings and trying to be honest. He's good to do him, but also my feelings are valid too, and he should know them. Which I do respect her speaking up about, as it felt like Barbara kind of implied Madison was wrong in being upset with Peter exploring intimacy in the fantasy suites. And then they all say their goodbyes. Madison leaves, and it's at this point the family gets to dish on how they feel about the final two. <laughs> why are you crying? <laughs> Ever wonder why Peter's been finding so much validation this season when people cry? Think we just found the answer. So Peter's asking, what's up mom? Why are you crying? And Barb responds with, uh, She's not there for you. Barbara then goes on this long speech about how God put Hannah Ann there for him, and to make a long story short, she basically says, Hannah Ann angel on earth, Madison stinky no-no girl. Which... Hasn't Peter expressed that he's also in love with Madison? I mean, I get you like one over the other, but that's probably pretty hurtful for your son to hear, and it's not like Madison walked in and did something horrible. So after another long conversation of this one yay, this one boo, and Peter still pushing back because, you know, low-key, this dude is way more into Madison, Barb starts crying. You know, Peter's favorite. And it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Yeah. Anne loves you with all of her heart. Don't let her go. Not Madison, like we thought. Not Hannah Brown. Not someone after the final rose ceremony. Just Hannah Ann. So, it's time to move on from the family and into the final dates. First up is Madison. And the two head off in a helicopter ride that ends in a picnic in front of Uluru. Got some sparkling apple juice for <laughs> my lady. Hmm, tips fedora. So as the two enjoy their pre-nap time apple juice, Madison has been thinking. She's falling in love with Peter, she is. But she's afraid that her wanting Peter so much has blinded her to the truth. That the two of them just want different things. As much as we want this, I don't know that we can like give each other what we need. When it comes to marriage, faith, lifestyle, we're different. And I've gotten some insight into what our lives would be like outside of this. I don't want to change you, and I don't want to change. So sometimes, the right decision is the hard one. And sometimes it's best to know when to surrender. I just, I don't... I don't, I don't know that we're the best for each other. And just like that, Madison is gone. She's in the back of a car, headed home. And Peter is heartbroken. Naturally, the next day, Chris Harrison is here to comfort Peter, and he's got an important question to ask. With Madison leaving, what does this mean? Can you move forward, or is this all over? I don't know right now. I honestly don't. Naturally, the show just moves on as if he said yes. So, it's time for Hannah Ann's date, and she has no clue that she's the only one left on the show. They hug, and I'm here waiting for Peter to let her know, but... Nothing happens. They meet some adorable kangaroos, and nope, Peter still hasn't told her. They have a picnic while the sun is setting, and yeah, no, still nothing. And so, it comes to the night portion of their date with a beautiful intimate moment together, and still nothing. Nothing about Madison, 
All he says is that he's had a tough week. Because like my heart is like being pulled in two different directions. Yeah. Even though there's only one direction left. Hannah Ann then gets emotional, wishing Peter would give more to her. And so, Peter finally opens up about Madison being gone. Just kidding, the episode just ends. Hannah Ann still doesn't know she's the only one left, and we're left wondering how the last few moments of the season will play out. But we won't have to wait long. Part 2 of the finale is on tonight. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you tonight for the dramatic conclusion to the season. Until then, Bachelor Fan Take, out. How are you doing? Not good. That's, 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 that's what I was hoping to hear.